Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to another episode of Amadea Fact Check Blog. I got some interesting stuff today. Today is the video on Nassim Mahdi. Um, and this is one of the biggest fraudsters, one of the biggest hucksters in the history of the world. Uh, let me tell you about this guy, right? And I'm going to start off with sharing my screen. I'm just going to go to my essay. Um, if I can remember how to do that. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, so hold on as I disconnect something here. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back now. A little bit of technical difficulty. Okay, so like I said, uh, I'm going to just be very quick as I go through the life and times of uh, Nassim Mahdi. Here are some photos. You can see some of his family here. This is him and Judy Seg Seguro. So, here, so here's his life story. And uh, let me see if I can share the screen and then pull it up. Okay, so, so here we go. This is straight out of my essay, uh, Who is Nassim Mehdi? Um, the story is, is as follows, and he recently died. He died on May 24th, 2022, and a few days later, he was accused of rape. Make sure you, you check that out. Um, him and uh, Dr. Aslam Daud have, were accused of rape, and I'll, I'll get to that in just a sec. Uh, so, and then if you want to know who he is from older sources, check out uh, AK Sheikh explaining it here. And then his older video here. So anyhow, he was born in 1953, and he, he became a Murabi. His dad was also a Murabi, so he's a second-generation Murabi. Um, so he was streamlined because of who he was, right? So he comes out of Jamia in the 1970s. He graduated Jamia in the 1970s, and then he worked in Rubwa as uh, assistant, additional assistant, uh, Wakil Tabshir, there it is right there. So, which is a pretty easy job. So, uh, and then and then 1984 happens, and AK Sheikh says that he faked a, a, a FIR and said his life was in danger, so he got sent to Switzerland. Now, the reason they it's easy to go to Switzerland, it was neutral. So he ends up going to Switzerland. He worked Switzerland, Austria, maybe even a little Italy, just because there was no Jamaat. So he probably drove around and made contacts and et cetera, et cetera. So um, and then, then he went to London. From London, they decide to send him to Canada and make him the president and the missionary, missionary in charge. Now, uh, A.K. Sheikh says the reason Switzerland, um, it, it happened the way it did was because uh, in, uh, the Amity Movement had their, had their, or the Mirza family had their money in Swiss banks. Before Panama, or in addition to Panama, they had their money in Swiss banks. So that's the reason for that. Um, so Nassim Mehdi is a well-trusted person because of his dad. He's well, very well-trusted. He married a famous gangster's daughter, the biggest gangster in the history of, of, of Rubwa, Abdulaziz Bambri. He marries his daughter. So there's a lot going on here behind the scenes. You know, he's the main man of the of Mirza Nasser Ahmed, Mirza Tayyar Ahmed. Um, so so he, he's in Canada, and he helps fake asylum cases. He helps get Amdi's asylum in Canada. In fact, there's a guy on, on Twitter, uh, Tark Todri, who admitted that he gave him money, he gave him immigration perks, he gave him all kind of perks, right? And, and that's why a lot of these guys are, are loyal to Amadeus, even Hurum, because of the business opportunities they got, because of all the, just in the opportunities in general that they got. 
is the reason because they got something out of it. So they're, they're showing their loyalty, you know. Um, so uh, and my dad's the same way. You know, he got a wife and a job. I mean, and probably even more than that, a network. So um, so that's what the real story is. You know, people aren't logical. They're not using their head. They're using their heart um, to decide on, on an important matter like religion. And that's just not what you do. Um, so in 2005, he was in, in charge of the Canadian Jamaat. There was a new Khalifa in town, the fifth Khalifa. And he came to uh, Canada in 08. And there's a famous story that Amnis wouldn't listen to the Khalifa. And they wanted Nassim Mehdi to give an order, which they're weirdos like that. So in, in this era, he started paying off. Uh, high-ranking uh, politicians. He, he has the situation with uh, Judy Seguro, where uh, she had to admit to taking 5,000 in donations. Um, and she gave kickbacks. She, she gave uh, a ministerial permits, eight travel permits. Uh, I think Nassim Madi had just got married for the second time, and his new wife needed a visa. He got her a visa in one day or something like that. Um, so then there was some issue, and the fifth Talifa wants to to son him. So the fifth Talifa tells him, uh, "You're getting transferred to uh, to America." So uh, okay, and and, and b before I get to that, he has a famous cousin, Manir Din Ahmed, who was sent to Hamburg, Germany, in the '60s, and he quit Amadeus famously. So uh, check that out too. He used to post on the old Amadeus.org forum. Um, and uh, Mushtaq Malik says that he, he was a uh, class fellow of his younger brother. All right. So and then I have uh, 1984, 1985, showing how he, he was sent to Switzerland and he worked with uh, Jodri Zahur Bajwa. Um, and I, I already talked about the rest of this. Um, in, in 1987, A.K. Sheikh meets him in Canada. Right, that they have their big falling out in like I think 1999, uh, where uh, AK Sheikh says he quit Ahmadiyyat. He didn't quit the beliefs. He quit Ahmadiyyat because it was corrupt, because of Nassim Mahdi, because he was involved in Peace Village and there was financial kickbacks, something like that. So, um, and then in 2008, here, here was an older website that that had some uh, bio data on it, uh, or like an Ahmadiyya Muslim Student Association. This is how they were presenting the, this guy. Uh, so, yeah, 09, he's, tra he's transferred to America. His mother dies in 2012, and he's really in the background at this point in America. He's not. He did the Muslims for Life. Uh, he organized all that Muslims for Blood. Uh, it was weird because when you say Muslims for Life, it was like, does that mean I'm a Muslim for life, for my life? Or does it mean I'm a, I'm a Muslim and I'm for life? You know, it was like a confusing. You could tell he penned it because it made no sense. It, it wasn't uh like a uh, a catchy um phraseology or whatever you want to call it uh so in 2016 he retired and in 2021 the famous photo comes out and just after that he was accused of rape him and uh, uh dr uslam though i got all the data on the website uh there it is that is the whole story nasim Mehdi, a big fraudster uh, i wanted to do this in under 10 minutes um uh, Walaikum Salam, brother. Walaikum Salam. Yep, in here. Yes, sir. On the job. On the job. You know, and you, you know what, what? What really gets me is they take these below-average people and turn them into, uh, uh, you know, p people who are made to appear to be successful when really they didn't do anything. They didn't have some ability. They didn't. Um, uh, they're not any engineers. That I mean, they're not capable of doing any work. You know, I remember the uh, local Murabi here in, in um, Bay Point, California, he never did any manual labor, you know. So these guys are chilling. They got it easy. They're, they're taking it easy. So that is the story, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and I did it in under 10 minutes. And assalamu alaikum and peace out.